bad acid reflux, so a friend of mine suggested that I uh, start drinking a lot of aloe vera and slippery elm, so that's where I'm headed right now. I had to go into the Jewish neighborhood to get my slippery elm. I'm in Williamsburg in the Jewish area. It's like uh, Poland in the 1800s or something over here. It's crazy. But the store that I just went in, it was awesome. They had aloe vera juice, they had slippery elm, they had goat milk, goat cheese, goat yogurt. I'm coming back to this place, Supreme, Supreme Health Food. The Jewish area in Williamsburg, it's awesome. So this is the slippery elm that I got. This was $48, it's not cheap. Instantly, I smelled it. It's a, uh, it's like a brown powder, right? It sort of smelled familiar, and then I mixed it in with water and drank it, and then I was like, oh shit, I've tasted this before. It took me about two hours to figure out where I, where I tasted it, and where I tasted it was, um, there was a vet in Williamsburg. I had a pet service years ago, and this vet prescribes Chinese herbal medicine, and every dog that I was coming to, she was given this to, and it was a little black pill and it said on the bottle that it was for human beings, so I tried it and it wasn't anything that it was like medication, it's an, it's an herbal product. So I tried it and it had slippery elm in it because instantly when I drank the slippery elm water, I'm like, I've tasted this and that's what it was. I added the slippery elm into aloe vera. I cannot even taste the slippery elm at that point. It's not an objectionable taste. It has a woody kind of, back of your tongue bitter taste but it's not objectionable it's not that's what i'm drinking now aloe vera and uh slippery elm coffee is terrible for me i stopped drinking coffee when i uh when i was having the problem the severe problem i did a cycle of antibiotics amoxicillin and uh metronidazole and I did that for two weeks, and then uh, I'm on Prilosec. I'm probably gonna stay on that for a while and make sure that this is really fixed. I did test coffee. I had coffee like a, a week ago, and it did nothing but fuck me up again. So I'm never drinking coffee again. Slippery Elm, tastes okay. Aloe vera, and if I want caffeine, I can drink tea. Or I can drink Red Bull. I don't need to drink coffee. That shit's crap anyway. Unless you put like milk and, and sugar in it. So, Slippery Elm, thumbs up. It's a little expensive, but what the hell if it helps my acid reflux. Acid reflux affects one out of two people. One out of two. And it can lead to stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, all kinds of problems. Stay up on it. You know, if you're having a problem and you have insurance, go to the doctor. If you don't, you're like me. I don't have insurance. You know? It's terrible. It's probably not that expensive. I had to check into it. I'm getting old now. Maybe it's time that I get insurance.